Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Curly Kid Glam, and I'm here today to... I'm not here to give you a wig review. I just say that I have it now. I am here today to do a crochet. I have not rocked a crochet in probably almost a year, but I am tired of wearing wigs at this current present time, and I would love to give my hair a break. I just finished corn rolling, corn rolling, corn rolling my hair and I'm getting ready to install. If you have not seen in my previous clip, I am using the Bunny Bounce Kanekalon Motown Tress, um, I guess, Sea Samba 10 crochet hair. It's pre-looped, and it is in the color 1B30, which means it starts off kind of to me, Lord, it kind, of, it kind of starts off to me as a sombre and then goes into the color 30. I guess that kind of mimics the color of my hair. Um, it's as close as I could get. I, did, I think 27 would have been a little too bright for me, but I did a real basic cornrow pattern. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven braids in my head. Um, so I'm expecting this hair to be really full. I actually thought online that this hair would be twist, but it is actually a coil. So, as I was saying, y'all, it's not a twist. It's actually a coil. So, as you can see, um, I thought that it was a twist, but it's a coil. And I just took one out the pack before my camera decided to cut off. Well, actually, somebody called me. But anyway, before my camera decided to cut off, and this is what it looks like. So, I'm a little nervous because I wanted it to be a curl. I didn't want it to be like Marley hair or afro and I don't want to install it like this in this coil because I'm not going to like that. So, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because I don't like the way that looks. But, this is my first time using, um, I'm sorry y'all, I'm being a busybody. This is my first time using, uh, crochet hair from Motown Tress. I... I've heard of Motown Tress, but I've never used any of their products. I don't even have any wigs from Motown Tress, surprisingly. But yes, y'all, so this is apparently going to give you a natural look. Um, Not exactly what I was going for, but since I bought it and I don't have anything else, I'm going to have to make it work. Like I said, I did a simple braiding pattern. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see my gray hair trying to stick? I got one gray hair. But anyway... Yes, y'all. So when I'm done with this whole first pack, I will come back and show you how it is looking. Um, and to oil my scalp, actually, before I braided my hair, I put some leave-in conditioner on my hair because it's important that when you're doing a protective style, your hair must be moisturized. So I use this um, Cream of Nature um, Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner Mango and Shea Butter. It smells so good and it is very inexpensive. Um, also... With a mix of that, I put oil, I put conditioner on first, and then I put this um, one and only argan oil, oil treatment on my hair afterward to seal in the moisture. And then to make sure that my hair is detangled while braiding, because I did braid my hair while it was wet. I have an easier time gripping my hair when it's wet than it, than it is when it's dry, which is crazy, but y'all, I... This is like one of my stable products, the Pantene Gold Series Leave-On Detangling Milk. It has the best slip ever. I did a review on my channel on this product. And to oil my scalp, I have some um, Cantu Tea Tree and Jojoba Oil. But I just poured a little bit of olive oil in there just a few minutes ago. So I'm going to see how this going to work. I'm always trying to make some type of concoction to put on my hair. But yeah, y'all, and plus, you know, my hair, I recently dyed it blonde in November, so it's super important that even though while my hair is in this protective style, that I keep it moisturized. But I will be back, y'all, after the first pack is over. It shouldn't take me long to do this now because I only got seven braids in my head, and I did it on purpose because I know this hair is going to get big. So, y'all, I will be back after I install the first pack. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I have installed the whole entire first pack of my, um... What is these? Samba? Samba bounce curls, I guess you can call them. 
Um, I started at 612 and it is now 628 and I'm done with the whole first pack. And I am done. I have done pff, probably half my head. Let me turn around so you guys can see the back. Don't mind this oil. The oil came out too fast. I was trying to catch it. But yeah, y'all, I like the color so far. The texture is very afro-y, which I am not used to. I'm used to curls and coils, but y'all, this is kinks right here. So I'm interested to see how long this will last and how long I'm actually going to keep this hair in my head. But y'all, I will be back with the finished product. I got two more packs and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to finish my head with this um, second pack. I probably won't even have to open the third pack. But we will see. Um, this hair does get full really fast. But I'm going to come back with my final thoughts of the hair and everything. I've got to moose it down and everything. Or I'll moose it down while I'm talking to y'all on camera. But yeah, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I am back. <laughs> Embarrassing. Okay, y'all, I am back with the finished product. Um, this is definitely different. I have never had this, any hair, this texture before. This hair feels really, um, really close to African-American hair, especially when you pull the curls apart. I would not recommend pulling the curls apart. Um, what I did was I separated the curl, like, because it comes pre-looped, as you know, um, and then I would run my fingers down, and then it would just loosen the curl up. Um, but some of the afro and frizzy parts are the parts that were separated. But majority of the pieces that I like this are pieces that I did not separate. I just installed them. Um, I did end up using the entire three packs just because I wanted my hair to be extra full. Like when it comes down to like curly hair, I want my hair to be full, girl. And like as you can see, I only got seven braids. So, I think the seven braids or seven flat twists or whatever it is that you can do is the best way for beginners and people learning how to braid who cannot do those intricate braiding patterns. I can do the braiding patterns, but I just choose not to. One, because I'm lazy. Two, because if you do your natural hair on a regular, you know how much muscle and how much energy it takes to braid your hair. And seven braids was all I had in me today, honestly. But, um... I like the fullness of it. I like the color of it. I have like this ombre honey blonde color, which is very similar to my um my hair color. It, my hair color is a little bit lighter than this, but it is close. It is full, and all of my parts are covered except this part in the front, which I don't mind showing because as it gets older, my hair is going to grow out, and it's, you're not going to be able to tell. Like, it's in braids. It's just going to all be like a fro, basically. Um... This takes me back to my roots, crocheting, and um, quick weave was my foundation as to how I got into hair. Um, it's definitely giving me like Afrocentric vibes. Um, it does kind of remind me of Marley hair, like once you pull it apart, if you ever pulled apart Marley hair. Um, I'm interested to see how long this texture will last, but I'm also not afraid of having this texture. For one, because it is so coarse, I know it is going to tangle. I know it's going to have knots. I know all that. But me as a person who's like into curly hair, I'm used to that. So it doesn't really bother me. So since it's being synthetic, I'm not even going to try to detangle it. I'm just going to cut it out. But um, I did end up squeezing the other two packs in my head. I am just, you know, ready to try something new. As you know, I really don't wear crochet braids anymore. I do have some crochet braiding um, videos on my channel, but not as much as I have um, wigs. Um, I'm just interested to see how this hair is going to last. I think the older it gets, the older it's going to get, the better it's going to look because it's just one of those textures. I'm not really worried about, like, um, how to maintain because obviously with this texture, I can just take my bonnet off and shake my head out and it's going to be full. But yeah, y'all, I will come back with um, a review, an updated review on this hair because I want y'all to see. I'm, I just wish that the lighting wasn't that bad. Usually in the bathroom, I have better light.
lighting, but this doesn't do it any justice. But I am going to turn around. I tried to um, shape the hair a little bit, but I'm not done. But I am going to turn around so you guys can see the full, the full view of this hair. And then that'll be all, y'all. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave me down um, a message down below. Let me know if you tried this hair before because I've never heard of it. But I did get this hair from divatress.com. Uh, I don't remember how much the hair was a pack. Let me check really quickly to see how much this hair was a pack. <sighs> so if it was $11.85, which rounds to $12. So this hair was about $4 a pack, probably somewhere between $3.95, $4 a pack. So yeah, y'all, just let me know what y'all thoughts on this hair. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. Deuces. Come up close and personal so y'all can see this color. It looks just like natural hair. And this is what my edges look like. Even though this hair is so full, you'll never see my edges. And... Yeah, y'all.